When I was growing up, my father used to tell me that the Philadelphia Phillies were called the Boys of Summer. Well, these days they should be called the Boar of Summer. The team that used to function like a jet engine now looks like a single engine piper running on fumes. A fire that was once lit in every player's eyes seems to have either been distinguished or disappeared. A manager that once held so much promise for the Phillies' future is now probably wondering about his own. The boys of summer have left, and it doesn't look like they shall return to our town anytime soon. A lot of blame can easily be tossed around in any direction you choose. It could be sent towards the direction of the players on the field. It could be sent in the direction of those responsible off the field. And it can also be sent in the direction of the fans. Yes, the fans. You guys also have a hand in what is happening or, shall we say, what is not happening in Citizens Bank Park and beyond. One thing that is not beyond are those home run balls that used to fly out of Citizens Bank Park like golf balls. Unless, that is, Hamels is on the mound. If we build it, they will come. And yes, they did. The fans packed that house night after night, day after day, when they had a team that they could cheer for, when they had a team that they could scream for, when they had a team they could stand for. But these days, the fans don't seem to stand that team anymore. At a recent Friday night game, the Phillies set a record for the lowest attendance ever at Citizens Bank Park since it opened in 2004. The park seats over 40,000 fans. Last Friday, there was only about 19,000. Yeah, that didn't look good on paper, and it certainly did not look good on television. One thing that was clear was this fan base will not be tricked anymore. They will not line up and fill those seats just to be there. They will not shell out their hard-earned money for high-priced food, beverage, tickets, souvenirs, and especially not those outrageous parking lot prices. The fan base deserves better, and so does this city. If you build it, they will come. But if you stop building around it, they will leave and maybe never come back. Let us look at the players in the field, shall we? They are wearing our pinstripes because they were either drafted, traded, or acquired by our home team. Those players are doing the best job to the best of their ability, or at least we like to think so. There were some young players, some old players, and some whose time has passed them by. All that we ask is they work as hard as they can to help this city rebound towards another playoff run, and hopefully another world freaking championship. Is that too much to ask of a professional who was collecting a check and a rather nice one just to play a kid's game? Our eyes now focus on the front office and their lack of vision. When this team was going through their wonderful run of all those years, nobody thought it would end. Nobody except the fans. The fans would call local radio stations or sit down chatting with their friends at the local establishments and worry about the future of their favorite players. The fans could see the writing on the walls, so why couldn't the ones who were the wall's architects? They had to know the player's age and that injuries would happen. So why did they put their head in the sand or another place people also mention? The answer is quite simple. If you build it, they will come. That was not the right answer, and it definitely is not the right way to continue to build a championship team towards the future. Someone once said, tomorrow is only a day away, and if you fail to plan for it, a fool you shall become. We don't really think they are fools. However, they have made some foolish mistakes with signings and non-signings. They should have planned better, scouted better, trained their players better, 
and they definitely should have listened to their fans better. If last Friday was their fans' message to them, then let's hope they received it loud and clear. Let us hope they can rebuild what was once a championship team. Let us hope they can acquire the right players now and somehow they can find new fields for those players who no longer fit in the architect's design. Let us hope the next time they build something, they'll leave room for improvement instead of just taking their fans' money. Maybe they can listen to some of their advice. After all, some of their fans could be architects too. You've just heard The Boar of Summer, the Phillies, written by Philadelphia reporter John J. Rupert, April 15, 2015. It was spoken, recorded, and effects added by John J. Rupert, May 21, 2020. Oh,